Good evening. We begin with children who've lost their childhood and some are only 12 years old, working as staff members at the Church of Scientology full time. An organisation which in the United States was accused of tearing families apart and forcing teens into 80 hour work weeks with no time for a formal education. Now just look at what they're doing here. Brian Seymour with our exclusive investigation. This is, this is one of the children walking across the road. Yeah. That is it? Okay. They're in an the age where they should be starting high school, but they're working at the old full time. And long hours? Yeah, it's eight or nine hours a day, five days a week. For these kids? Yes. What are these kids doing in place of numeracy and literacy? How to be a Scientologist. It's nearly eight o'clock in the morning in the heart of Melbourne City. Staff at the Church of Scientology on Russell Street are arriving at work. Who do we have walking along the street here? So in the red jacket is... This is a 13-year-old boy? Yeah, he would be 13. He was 12 when he started. On full-time staff. Full-time staff? Full-time work? Yes. What sort of work is a child of that age doing at the Church of Scientology? Mostly clerical or admin type of work. So he'll just be... Like a male boy. Yeah. Yeah. This 13-year-old boy is one of eight children we filmed on various weekdays over several weeks. While most children are starting school, these children arrive at the Church of Scientology to start... It's in, he's in there to start a day of work. Start a full day of work? That's right. What sort of... That's what they do five days a week. What sort of tutoring, homeschooling, is he getting in there? He's supposed to be getting homeschooling for, I think it's three hours a day, five days a week, but he's not getting any. Our source recently left Scientology after several years on staff and says he felt compelled to speak out for these children. He asked to remain anonymous, saying he fears the Church of Scientology will target him for speaking out. Who's that with him? That's... She's a young person. Yeah, doesn't she? I think she's about 15 or 16. She's been on staff for a couple of years. She's, oh, she's been on staff, 15, 16, been on staff a couple of years. years. Yeah, at least two years. What sort of work would she do? She's training to be an auditor. So, TDC. At that age? Yeah. Training to be an auditor? Correct. It would be astonishing, except it's not the first time. Well, I was in a room that was maybe... 8 by 10 feet, maybe 8 by 12 feet, with six people. That was where we lived. A child Scientologist for years, Astra Woodcraft left the California branch when she fell pregnant, fearing she would be forced to have an abortion. She also tells of being molested and given alcohol at 13, worked incessantly, and at the age of 15, she was told to counsel a 40-year-old man with a problem. And I had to tell him that he couldn't masturbate. I had to have him read a policy where L. Ron Hubbard says masturbating is bad. This girl in Melbourne is, we're told, training to be a counsellor. In Scientology, they're called auditors. This is a child. That's right. They're training her to do that. Correct. Of course, it's not only children. Where are the families of these children? Uh, they're on staff as well. Your parents are there making a difference, working full-time at the organ and working full-time elsewhere to pay the bills. They've devoted everything to Scientology. That must be right. What is her role? Well, she oversees the, the legal side of things and the public relations side of things, uh, external affairs. More than two dozen other staff, adults, arrive for work as we watch. What sort of goods and services would he be selling? Auditing, mainly. Auditing, yeah. his counselling sessions. Yeah. What sort of money is he bringing in? Oh, they, when they sell the auditing, they're going for a minimum of 25000 in one hit from one person. $25,000? Correct. People pay this? Yeah, people. For this extended, intense counselling? Yeah, people max out their credit cards. According to the critics, this is Scientology's real purpose, to make money. It's a cash cow. What was it? It's a cash cow. Cash cow. As the staff meeting gets underway at 9am, we see the most senior Scientologist here. She is from a group called the Sea Organization, or Sea Org, an elite corps based in Clearwater, Florida. And she's there to oversee the... 
finances. Because that's an important part of the church, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. How important are the finances to Scientology? Well, it's all about money. Dweller H. Here we go sailing into weird territory. In the 1960s, Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard decided to live on a ship. This ship. Thus was born the Sea Organization, founded with Hubbard's first crew at sea. They lived only to work for no money. In this BBC documentary shot in 1967, the elusive Hubbard was tracked down to a small port in North Africa where he agreed to this interview. Skio, which means knowing how to know in the fullest sense of the word, ology, which is study of. So it is actually study of knowingness. What does it do for you in theory? It increases one's knowingness. But if a man were totally aware of what was going on around him, he would find it relatively simple to handle any outnesses in that. Even after three hours of talking, we never got an explanation from him that we could understand. Remember, this rambling raconteur is revered by Scientologists. He considered all children uh, adults. Sydney man David Graham joined Scientology in the 70s and quickly rose in the ranks. He was a case supervisor responsible for the whole of the eastern seaboard of the United States. He says children in the Sea Org in the 1980s had a very rough ride. One in particular said that um, she did very little schooling whatsoever and they were working from 9am through until about 11pm and some uh, days going through to 2 a.m. Recently in America, two former Scientology children spoke out. One of them is Jenna Hill, who was also the niece of the head of Scientology, Tom Cruise's best mate, David Miscavige. You don't sign up for the nights, or you stay up all night, sleep two hours, stay up all night the next night, sleep two hours. I saw my mom probably a half an hour one time from when I was 12 till I was 16. I saw my dad maybe three times for a half an hour each time from 12 till I was 16. Are all the underage kids there because their parents are members? Yes. Without exception? Without exception, correct. He is in charge of the communications department. He's so a good man. He's in charge of. Yeah, he's. I think he's about 15. He's about 15. He's been on staff for about two years. This is a 15 year old boy. Mm. And he's in charge of the communications department. The department, yeah. This child runs the mail boys, plus the computers, emails, and electronic communications between different branches of the church. So he's running the communications? Yes. In Scientology instead of studying in class? He wasn't doing any study while I was there, except for Scientology school. Well, again, I have to ask you, not doing any study, not getting mm. any homeschooling? No. I, I find it very hard to believe, but I accept that it is happening. If proven true, how serious is this? I would, look, I would expect that the, uh, uh, the public would be totally outraged on this one and they would demand action on it.